Hello everyone, Sherlock Fan number one here with another movie rant slash review. Now originally I had the idea of doing this video as a reaction slash commentary. However, due to some copyright issues and stuff, I was unable to release the footage to you all. But that's okay. We have Google Images and a microphone in hand. So today I will be using both to create a review slash rant on today's movie pick. Wolf Children, an anime film from 2012 about a young couple who fall in love and begin raising a family, but just as things seem too good to be true for the couple, Hana, our main character, is left raising her children on her own when her husband dies in a terrible accident while hunting in wolf form. So it becomes up to Hana, a now single mother, to raise her two children, Yuki and Ame, who are both known as wolf children, which gives them the power to transform between human and wolf, a gene passed down to them from their father, who also had this ability. The story follows Hana as she deals with the struggles to keep their family secret from the judgmental eyes of the world. Now the first point I made of this film is it's kind of weird and I know it's probably some people's favorite and don't get me wrong it's cute but it's just weird at times. For example when Hana and her husband first meet and become close, almost too close for such a short amount of time, they decide to move in together. But this all happens in a matter of days or at least that's how I felt it was portrayed. And don't even get me started on the awkward romantic scene where Hana and the wolf form of her husband, uh, well, spend the night together. That really threw me for a loop. But aside from that, I think this film is really cute and does a really good job of portraying both the worrying and the panic that Hana is experiencing. Also the fun moments when she can finally let her guard down and have fun with her children, and even the quiet moments when we see the kids just dealing with emotions or struggling to understand what to do. It's all done very well, especially the moments with the kids when they're just being kids with their high energy and their attention going from one thing to the next in a matter of minutes. And both Yuki and Ame are adorable characters. And it's interesting how as the story progresses we see in the beginning Yuki thriving as a wolf, but Ame struggling to accept his heritage and his wolf side. Later when the two grew up, they also grow apart and seem to develop into different people with different paths ahead. Where Yuki wants to embrace her human side and be with her friends and at school and learn, whereas Ame wants to be wild free and embrace his instincts. All in all, I really did enjoy this movie and its way of changing and developing the characters and their arcs throughout the story, and I'd recommend it. But for those of you like myself that aren't huge fans of the genre, that's okay too. Just enjoy what you enjoy. But for now, thanks for watching and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. This is Sherlock Phantom 1 signing off. Bye! Jungle, I've been running with the wolves to get to you